Friendship. Friendship is a mirror to presence and a testament to forgiveness. Friendship not only helps us to see ourselves through another's eyes, but can be sustained over the years only with someone who has repeatedly forgiven us for our trespasses, as we must find it in ourselves to forgive them in turn. A friend knows our difficulties and shadows and remains in sight, a companion to our vulnerabilities more than our triumphs, when we are under the strange illusion that we do not need them. A friend knows our difficulties and shadows and remains in sight, a companion to our vulnerabilities more than our triumphs when we are under the strange illusion that we do not need them. An undercurrent of real friendship is a blessing exactly because its elemental form is rediscovered again and again through understanding and mercy. All friendships of any length are based on a continued mutual forgiveness. Without tolerance and mercy, all friendships die. Without tolerance and mercy, all friendships die. In the course of the years, a close friendship will always reveal the shadow in the other as much as ourselves. To remain friends, we must know the other and their difficulties, and even their sins, and encourage the best in them not through critique, but through addressing the better part of them, the leading creative edge of their incarnation, thus subtly discouraging what makes them smaller, less generous, less of themselves. Friendship is the great hidden transmuter of all relationships. It can transform a troubled marriage, make honorable a professional rivalry, make sense of heartbreak and unrequited love, and become the newly discovered ground for a mature parent-child relationship. The dynamic of friendship is almost always underestimated as a constant force in human life. A diminishing circle of friends is the first terrible diagnostic of a life in deep trouble of overwork, of too much emphasis on a professional identity, of forgetting who will be there when our armoured personalities run into the inevitable natural disasters and vulnerabilities found in even the most ordinary existence. Friendship transcends disappearance. An enduring friendship goes on after death. The exchange only transmuted by absence, the relationship advancing and maturing in a silent, internal, conversational way, even after one half of the bond has passed on. But no matter, but no matter the medicinal virtues of being a true friend, or sustaining a long, close relationship with another, the ultimate touchstone of friendship is not improvement neither of the self nor of the other. The ultimate touchstone of friendship is witness. The privilege of having been seen by someone and the equal privilege of being granted the sight of the essence of another, to have walked with them and to have believed in them, and sometimes just to have accompanied them for however brief a span, on a journey impossible to accomplish alone. But no matter the medicinal virtues of being a true friend, or sustaining a long, close relationship with another, the ultimate touchstone of friendship is not improvement, neither of the self nor of the other. The ultimate touchstone of friendship is witness, the privilege of having been seen by someone 
and the equal privilege of being granted the sight of the essence of another, to have walked with them, and to have believed in them, and sometimes just to have accompanied them, for however brief a span, on a journey impossible to accomplish alone.